Your name? Uh, Bill Padisak. How do you spell the last name? P-A-D-I-S-A-K. And uh, what's your official title? Uh, President of the Mahoning Trumbull AFL-CIO of the Labor Council. Okay. Uh, have you been down for any of these other protests or is this the first yes, one? Yes. No, no, I was down last week. Um, and and why are you coming down? What's the big deal? Uh, to, to, you know, make the governor and the, uh, uh, our legislature understand uh, how the public feels about this bill. The majority of the people in Ohio and in the country support collective bargaining and see this as an attack on not only unions, but also the middle class. Okay. Um, now, you're a public employee. No. No, no, you're not a public employee. You're I, a private I work for the Ohio Association of Public School Employees, so I represent public employees. Okay. What about, I mean, people keep talking about the concessions that public employees have taken. Can you speak to that at all? Oh, yeah. I represent public school employees, uh, anybody who's not a teacher, custodians, bus drivers, cafeteria workers, paraprofessionals. They've taken many concessions over the years. Uh, you can look at some of our area schools in, like Salem, for instance, took a wage, the employees there took wage freezes for eight years and went through three rounds of layoffs, what they call reduction in force. Okay. What's wrong with Senate Bill 5? Senate Bill 5, number one, it's it's a smokescreen. It's not there to help the budget. It's not there to help our fiscal crisis we have in the state. It is there as, a, as an attack on unions. There are things in the bill that don't help the state budget at all. For instance, uh, taking away the rights of seniority uh, when it comes to layoffs. Uh, that's I, I believe that's a practice that you're going to see age discrimination suits. Uh, why take away seniority for layoffs? It doesn't help the budget at all. It, it only attacks the more senior people who have d invested their life in the school district.